Ryan Lilly with Ecosystem Hacking. Thank you, Joe. Well, I know many of you already. My name is Ryan, and it's a little interesting today being on the flip side of this, having been an, one of the organizers for a couple of years. But I'm really excited to share with you something that uh, I'm passionate about outside of doing this, outside of working here at the incubator and at the CEP, something that I've been doing for some time. A little bit about me, I've been helping entrepreneurs in communities now for about 10 years, and I've done that in three states, Virginia, North Carolina, and, uh, I'm sorry, Virginia, Illinois, and now Florida. My wife's from North Carolina, so I've done a little bit there too. Uh, I had an opportunity to work with just over 1,000 entrepreneurs in that time, from high-tech startups to no-tech, restaurants, service businesses, uh, and every, everyone in between. So I'm really excited about what I do. I wake up every morning, and I have a lot of fun doing it. I've had the opportunity to speak about what I do in a few different venues. I did a TEDx, I did an Ignite talk in Tampa, I'd spoken on conference panels for business incubators and economic development. Uh, this one here at the bottom right is the International Economic Development Council Conference that I spoke at in Atlanta last year. And uh, that for me was really exciting. It was the largest audience I'd ever spoken to and mostly of people who do this, this field of work every day. So three quick definitions. I want to define economic development, ecosystem building, and ecosystem hacking, since you may not have heard of those three things before. Economic development is what it sounds like. It's developing a local economy. It's trying to increase the, the local wealth and prosperity of people who live in an area. Traditionally, there's three ways that communities have tried to do that. The first is business attraction, bringing in large companies, large employers to your area who are going to hire lots and lots of people. Uh, an example of this is Amazon. Recently, uh, about a year ago, said that they were going to build a second headquarters somewhere in the United States. And communities all over the U.S were vying for uh, having them move there. And we, we're very fortunate here in our community, we have someone uh, who does an excellent job at bringing uh, those large companies here. However, it's really challenging and it's getting more and more competitive all the time. Some smaller communities can't even really compete in this area of attracting large, large companies. The next is business retention. And that's about working with existing companies in your community, helping them to grow and do expansion projects. One of the challenges that communities sometimes run into here is that you're really getting more of what you already have. You're not really diversifying the number of industries that exist in your community. You're just helping the ones that are there grow larger. And then the third one is really to this point uh, in the last few years, it's, it's been sort of off to the side. But it's really what I think makes the biggest difference in a community. And I think many of you would agree. It's business creation, working with entrepreneurs and startups like all of you. Uh, to me, that's where a community can get the biggest ROI in economic development, by helping small businesses. And that's really what ecosystem building is. This is a term that I didn't coin that's been around now for a few years, and it's about building a community of entrepreneurs. And a good analogy is a coral reef. And all of you as entrepreneurs are sort of the fish in this reef, and the coral are everything there that's to support you. Uh, if you're part of the chamber, if you're a part of One Million Cups, if um, you're a, a service provider, if you're someone who helps entrepreneurs, like an attorney or an accountant, um, that's all a part of this eco interconnected ecosystem. And so the idea of ecosystem building is trying to develop that within communities, trying to go in and serve entrepreneurs and connect them in better ways. The challenge, though, with this is that it's very challenging. It's very, it's very difficult. Uh, it takes a long time to build an ecosystem. Uh, one of the authors that I, I read says that it takes as much as 10 years to really build an entrepreneurial ecosystem uh, in a community. So what I've created, the solution to that, is ecosystem hacking. And uh, two months ago now, I published this book called Ecosystem Hacking. The subtitle is How to Help Entrepreneurs and Grow Your Local Economy Faster Than Ever. I've made the book uh, available on Amazon, but it's also available at a website I have called ecosystemhacking.com for free. Um, I only charge $10 shipping uh, to get it out to people, which covers my printing cost and shipping. Um, if they get the book, there is an, a subsequent offer for some additional materials and a course that I've developed. Uh, there's a, a webinar, there's an ecosystem hacking workbook, a planner, another book that I wrote on how to start a high school business plan competition and work with you, uh, young entrepreneurs in your community, which is something I'm really passionate about, is getting into the schools and teaching them about small business. So that's all part of an additional offer aside from the book. Um, I've had, a, just in the last two months, really good response so far. I've had, uh, interestingly, five orders from outside the United States of the book. Um, people in Brazil and France and the Netherlands. And so it's really interesting to see that this is a, 
a global uh, a trend that we're seeing towards serving entrepreneurs. All right. So my target market for this information are economic developers like myself, community leaders, if you're a mayor or city council member, uh, in non-metro U.S. cities and towns. The larger market, though, is really anyone with an interest in seeing entrepreneurs succeed or, or growing their, uh, in growing their local economy anywhere in the world. I want to give you some, uh, one of the ways I'm getting the word out about this is obviously through conferences and some of the speaking that I do, but I've also started running a series of ads on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. And uh, I wanted to give you a taste of a few of them. This is the only serious one in the bunch. The rest of them you can laugh at. But uh, will your town be around for your kids? Uh, how to replace boarded up buildings with hives of innovation. So clicking this ad would take them to the site for the free book and then the subsequent offers. Um, Amazon doesn't want you. Stop calling. This one's funny. Um, I mentioned Amazon earlier. The, the competition for Amazon was crazy. Um, there was a, a, a place in uh, Maryland that uh, Montgomery County uh, offered Amazon like an $8 billion incentive package. Um, so again, just helping communities understand that it's not about that, it's about helping startups. Are entrepreneurs cheating on you? Startups leaving for Silicon Valley, here's what you can do. Stop making Detroit look good. Local economy on the decline, ecosystem hacking is the answer. Again, these are meant to be funny. <laughs> the fix for a flaccid economy. <laughs> the, the cure for ED, economic development. Hint, it's not that hard. So. My plans this year are, uh, are, are getting this book out there to as many people as I can. Again, I don't plan on making money off of the book. The book is, is this is really information that I want communities to have. Building my social media presence, I've started posting videos and things. Um, online course material sales, and then pay, paid speaking and consulting gigs around the country. I would love to go to another community and help them build an ecosystem. Help them understand how to do one million cups, how to create an incubator, how to serve entrepreneurs at the highest level. And where I really need help is spreading the word to other communities. If you know of another community, maybe here in Florida or outside Florida, that's struggling economically, and you know, hey, check out this entrepreneurship stuff. Maybe this is for you, and Ryan can help you with that. Uh, in closing, I, I want to give you sort of a, a quote out of my book, and it kind of paraphrases Darwin a little bit. And he says that, uh, or I say, that it's not about the, the, the strongest, the, sorry, that the communities who are going to succeed the most in the new economy are not necessarily the strongest or the largest, but they're the ones most adaptive to change. And the ones most adaptive to change are going to be the ones serving entrepreneurs and innovators. And that's what I hope to help communities to do. Thank you. <laughs>